What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's Hour 2. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a blocked smart tile floor waste, which is this one right here. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so we've got an issue here with our floor waste in the bathroom. This one here is a shower. As you can tell, the water's sitting on top, it's not draining very well. This one here is called a smart tile floor waste, simply because it looks smart. It's not really very smart if you buy a cheap one because there's a very common issue with this. Um, a lot of times, probably about nine times out of 10, you'll find that this is the cause for the water not draining properly. So I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to do rather than calling a plumber yourself. Minimal tools and it's a really simple fix. All right, so what we need to do is remove this cover right here. This is just simply a cover that sits on top. Usually you can wiggle this out by hand and pull it out. However, once again, when you buy a cheap floor waste like this one here, um, you end up having issues and it just wedges in really tight. So what we're gonna use is just two flathead screwdrivers. All we're gonna do is just carefully wiggle that around, try and break that seal, and then we're gonna, there we go, you can see that there popped off. So we're gonna remove our cover here. Might need the other one. And we're gonna remove that cover and just put it on the side. So you can see there, there's a whole bunch of gunk, nice and yummy, whatever is inside there. That is the issue right here. Now with this particular floor waste, they always come with a little grate, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Might wanna wear some gloves if you're doing this. Um, especially if it's not your house. All right, so the issue that we have here is there's a little grate on the bottom on the inside, and that's designed to prevent anything from falling down into your floor waste and causing a blockage down the track, which is what you're supposed to have. However, with these cheaper style ones, they've always got very, very small holes, and that basically creates a little area that hair, shampoo, soap, everything's just gonna clump up together, and that's gonna prevent um, the water from draining in. So what you need to do is just simply clean this one here off. Remove all the goodies out from there and you can see that little grate just popped off. So we'll get rid of all this stuff here, put it on the side. You'll find that this is gonna be a regular issue. So you've got two options here. The first option is you can get rid of this, discard it, because when we put our floor waste or the cover back on top you can see it's a very very small hole around the edge here or a small area for things to go through so basically only water you might get some of the hair as well falling through but anything larger that's going to cause a blockage won't actually be able to get through so you can technically get rid of it if you want but what i would prefer to do if this was my house is i'd actually go out and just simply buy one of these covers this one here is probably a 90 mil cover. Um, you could measure it up, go out to your local hardware store, buy one with a little bit uh, bigger holes in there. That's gonna prevent it from clogging up so frequently, or you can even just cut some of these ones here out um, and just reuse the one that you've got. So if you just cut some of these notches out, you will allow most of that uh, material to be able to sit on top, but at the same time, the water's still gonna be able to flow through. But this one here is very, very uh, fine, and that's why we're having an issue here. So we can drop our cover back on. And once that's done, you can turn on your water, make sure everything's flowing down the floor waste as it should be. And you can see that it's actually going in to the floor waste now and not rising up above it. So nine times out of 10, this is gonna be the issue. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, you've learned something new and saved some money along the way. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.